नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ दीपक कुमार रथ आई वेलकम यू टू द डिजिटल मीडिया ऑफ उदय इंडिया टुडे एगेन ऑन माय रेगुलर एपिसोड दैट इज नोन आज भारतीयता का शंखनाद आई एम हियर विथ अनादर इशू टुडे दैट हैज कॉज्ड मच कंसंट्रेस माइंड यू दिस इज नॉट अबाउट इंडिया बट द प्रॉब्लम्स बींग डिस्कस्ड आर सिमिलर टू दैट we are facing for so many years when we talk about islam and its disturbing trends you paint us as being a so called right winger but today we'll tell you something which you have not thought of before when you talk about the sexy murder case and other cases of love jihad you say that we are connecting a story which is not reality but today we will show you what the ideology of islam has done both in india and european nations friends both india and european nations are already bearing the brunt of islamic jihad being perpetrated against them but today i will tell you about a country which has started facing the same problem of let friends you all know about japan a peaceful buddhist country a country that faced the nuclear attack and much like phoenix that has rebuilt itself and is now an economic powerhouse in the world according to what is known about the japanese they are thought to be the traditional cultural and hard working individuals who are extremely courteous and meticulous about hygiene there is no way anyone could dispute what i am telling you now however japan is currently observing a troubling religious trend i must tell you that in recent years japan's religious landscape has witnessed both significant transformation and modest turmoil the proliferation of mosques around japan might astonish a tourist who had never been to the country before friends until uh, the year 2000 there were fewer than 20000 muslims living in japan but according to current estimates they have increased by factor of 10 within a generation to over 2 lakh according to a government prediction there are now 113 mosques by 2021 up from only 15 in 1999 even that figure did not cause as much as concern in japan as a recent attack on a temple in the event a shrine was vandalized by a gambia west islamic fanatic there was japanese woman praying at a temple when a fervent islamic approached her and said i quote there is only one god the muslim god and here there is no god she was at a loss for words as he continued to question her because this was the first instance of its kind that anyone he had heard of and the fact that it had been caught on tape had sparked a wave of protest from both young and elderly japanese friends extreme ideology adherents have a problem with peaceful coexistence with various belief systems especially when it comes to matters of faith and this is the truth whether you believe it or not but islam aims to rule the world and islam is to marry locals are forcing the japanese girls to convert to islam and live a muslim lifestyle much like love jihad in india 
they befriend the japanese girls and get married to them and once they get married they start pressuring them to convert to islam think over it the current perception in japan is that these individuals are hellbent on destroying their culture and forcing their religion on them as in other instances Islam that was brought to Japan from many nations has been radicalized by ties to Indonesia. By ties to Indonesia, I am sorry. According to reports, this country's radical Islam has its sights set on Japan and is attempting to disturb the tranquility in the nation. While there is an increasing need to stop religious extremism. intelligence reports from japan authorities that warn that the radicalized islamists will continue to undermine the local culture of japan it is ludicrous to attribute the threat to a fanatic fringe as islamic terrorism and mob violence spread around the globe the third option however is a code islam the respect it merits as one of its world's major religious major religions while requiring that it address its antiquated theology of dominance this option stands between those who dismiss the expanding islamic attack on the whole world as marginal and those who call for a class of civilizations Muslims who claim that Islam is a peaceful and tolerant faith are correct but only in a historical sense the Quran refers to Jews and Christians as i quote peoples of the book and Muslims law does in fact grant them the right to freedom of religion but Muslim rule is a requirement for Muslim tolerance, but this is not the case for other religions of the world. Mind it. Be it Hindus, Buddhists, or anybody, Islam is a silent till the time its population is low, and once it gets prominence, the jihad starts. Japan is a proof of it, friends. we have been saying this for centuries now and now to my respected audiences it is up to you to see these things and understand what we are trying to show you make you understand this is really threatening and this is a put for thought it's not that it india is facing the problem of islamic jihad but now a peaceful nation like japan is also slowly facing the same issue now you think over whether this is a third to point or not today i want your feedback on the issue and that's all for today again i will request all our viewers to subscribe udaya india and get updated bharat mata ki jai